Greetings ladies and gents, I'm Cybernethy, and today we are playing Max, an autistic journey. This game already has sold me because, first off, it's an RPG about autism. Featured by this character named Max, and this game was developed by a father who has an autistic son. I think that's just the sweetest thing you can imagine. Autism is a tough thing, folks. It's, it's no easy thing to live with. And here's a fun fact. I have autism myself. I was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome when I was 8 years old. Let me tell you, it throws things completely in an, into an... Forget being dropped on your head when you were little. For us, it stays that way. But we see things differently than most people. But... There's a reason I actually, um, paused for a second before I did my intro. Listen to the music! Isn't that beautiful? Right away, I'm impressed with this game, just because of the music. Whoever made it has good taste. Okay, so I actually contacted the developer of this game, because I found it on a site called GreenManGaming.com and I have never seen a game about autism before so I just had to check it out checked it out and I actually managed to get in touch with a developer who gave me a steam key for the DLC the expansion called Max I think Max's birthday something like that I should put the link to the game in the description below if you're interested but yeah this game it's unlike anything I've ever seen so I'd love to give this a go by the way, um, if you're going to do a Let's Play of this game, make sure you get written permission or find it in, in writing somewhere from the developers. Because I actually have written permission from the developer to monetize any Let's Plays of this game on my channel, so... Just, uh, just thought I'd throw it out there. Anyway, why don't we start the game? Okay, so we're gonna hit New Game. I don't know... Oh, it has mouse support! Okay, I guess we'll use that then. Okay, so... Ah, 99% of the game can be played with just the mouse. You only need the control key on your keyboard to jump. Okay. I should remember that then. Okay, that's the reset button, so be careful! Okay, good thing my hotkey for recording is not around there. So that's the control key, you jump. That is action select. I'm guessing most of it you can just do with the mouse. But, um, yeah, the reason why, uh, why I don't have music turned on this, um, like, I don't have my own, you know, cybernetic music put in the video is because I want to play this game and listen to the music it has to offer. I want to pay the highest amount of respect to this game because I think the premise is amazing and I think it needs to be, it needs to be done properly, this Let's Play. It even has support for a controller. Okay, so apparently the save system is done through meeting a certain object. What's this? Pediatrician, we just received the test results and can give you a conclusive answer. Max is a very intelligent boy with a lot of creativity and a vivid imagination. However, a lot of the signs are here. His peculiar accent, his lack of empathy, his fixation on dinosaurs, his rigid behavior and meltdowns, his wandering eyes, Max is autistic. Max, you are not alone. Let me tell you. That is exactly what people go through, that kind of reaction. If you listen to the music, yeah, that's what happens when you find out your son is diagnosed with autism. It's kind of a shocker. It's a life-changer, and a really huge commitment. What are we going to do, says Mom. Everything we can- everything we can to give him a happy life.
Oh, I can tell this is going to be an emotional game already. Just by the music. Five years later... Oh! Oh, there's the dinosaur, I guess. And I wonder what that thing is. Max. Wake up, little dude. And give it <laughs> That's just like me in the morning, folks. I, I'm no... I'm no exception. Max is a 10-year-old boy who is diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder. To help with Max, uh, to help Max with his ASD, his dad drew him several pictograms like this one on your left. Oh, I can see picture number one on the desk there. Click it to add it to your collection. Oh, okay. So the act you could actually um, point and click. I need to turn the lights in my room. All right. For a lot of people with an autism spectrum disorder, a fixed routine could be a great source of uh, comfort and security. Max, for example, must perform many daily tasks in a specific order. If his procedure is broken, he will start to feel anxious. Take note, parents. <laughs> it's as if he uses a to-do list in his mind and needs to check each task singularly, one at a time, in order to feel some control over his environment. Right, in fact I have to turn the lights on first. I don't like it when it's dark. Gage, I think his name is? My father's girlfriend gave me a black flashlight I can keep all the time, even at school. Oh, sometimes I pretend to... I pretend that there are evil creatures in the dark and I can zap it with my flashlight. Now you have the skill flashlight. It's an RPG! And I'm guessing... Oh, oh my god. I was not expecting that. Max has a vivid imagination. He loves to make up stories to help deal with his environment. In his imaginary world, there are three very important criteria. HP... Oh, yes. This is her... Blah, 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 blah. Princess of Ice on... Oh, yes. So that's a heal spell, basically. Try attacking one of these first. Okay, so he missed. Okay, so apparently he's blind, so... Best not! Alright. I can use the flashlight. And that actually killed one of them. <laughs> I have to say, for an RPG... Well, it is not that bad, actually. And the moves, the attacks are very symbolic to what it's like to live with autism. Use the flashlight, the, the power of light that kills you. Victory! Ah, okay. So I got some stuff. Okay, you leveled up. Excellent. Alright, I have to turn the light on first. But, uh, there we go. <laughs> there be lights. And he even puts a little LOL in there. Nice. Great job! Okay, let me just, uh, actually, you save by going to the dinosaur, I forgot. But there's my giant king, giant sized king of monsters. In fact, I love the Kingdom Monsters collection. In fact, I love it. I don't want to read all the dialogue. If you want to read it yourself, play the game. As much as I love the story, I think I would be very exhausted if I tried to read all the dialogue. And it would take away from my own commentary. Jungle reptile and dinosaur. Oh, he can talk. Maybe not in the real world, but at least in Max's imagination. And that, for all intents and purposes, that's the important thing. There we go. And I can tell this game was made in the RPG Maker engine of some kind because some of the sound effects are default to the engine. But good job! Good job for actually making a game like this, folks. Now, uh, what's number two? I have to get dressed before breakfast. Max needs clear points of reference. Don't we all? Everything has its place. Everything in its place. 
Clutter is a source of anxiety for him as he loses his bearings. His clothing drawers, for example, must comply with his storage rules, otherwise it becomes very annoying. That said, he is still a ten-year-old boy. Putting away his clothes is far from a priority to him, so he growls every morning when it's time to get dressed. I'll tell you what, folks. Um, not only do I have autism or Asperger's syndrome, I also have a few anxiety disorders. So yeah, I can, I can relate to this anxiety thing very well. And uh, yeah, I kind of have to reacquaint myself with the really problematic areas of autism because over the years I've kind of learned to solve or at least mitigate a lot of the problems that come with autism. The rigidness. Like, I still have that to some degree, but I've learned to cope with it, but I now have to reacquaint myself with how it affects another character. So, um, yeah, this is just as much a learning experience for me as it is for you guys. And I'm the autistic one here. Oops, in fact, I have to get dressed before I go up to eight. So let's take- oh, closer in the draw with teddy bear. Ah, there- <laughs> He- there's a Freddy Fazbear reference. It doesn't really want to play this game because it gets scared. I'm not scared, blah, blah, blah. This is the first game I've ever played where there's like a direct reference to not just the game Five Minutes of Freddy's, but the actual creator. Like a direct reference. Okay, um... Let's go to... In fact, there's my toy box. Oh, that's not his drawers. Whoops. These draws are in there. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, looks like we triggered some anxiety. Alright, how do we fix it? All through the day, Max will find tools and special techniques to help from the above with anxiety, with your help, of course. Um. Okay. Help Max find his clothes by exploring the draw. Good hunting. Uh, first... Oh, there we go. The flashlight. First off, are his socks. Jesus, how small do you have to be to fit in there? Um... Well, we found the socks, but I don't think we can pick them up yet. <laughs> Wait! That's because the clothes are wandering around on their own. Like mischievous little children. Uh oh, that's an enemy. Don't go near that. It's a good thing I can actually see what's hiding in the dark. That's a, a slime or something. I don't know what that is, but I want nothing to do with it. Where on earth is this stuff? Do I have to find it in a particular order? I'm gonna have a rough time if I have to. Uh, that's... no, 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 no. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go save. Because I have a feeling this is gonna take a while. In fact, you want to save before? Yes! Yes! Okay, folks. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game. It has a very unique concept, and I'd say so far I'm very impressed by it. The music is phenomenal, and I have a feeling I'm going to love this little guy called Max. And this game is quite big, actually. You should see the download size when you play this game for yourself. It took me a while to download this thing. So yeah, um... It, if the developer is watching this, I don't know what your name is. It was a French name, I think. If you happen to be watching this, you've done an amazing job so far. I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future. And <laughs> those little pairs of shoes walking around. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. I shall catch you later.